All right, so it is freaking 10 degrees. <laughs> I, uh, I've already transitioned into preparing myself to wear shorts every day to the gym. And so I'm in shorts and my boots and my winter coat. And it's freaking cold and I did not pre-warm my truck today. So I guess this would be the equivalent of taking a cold plunge. Not really. Uh, but anyway, so here we go. We're off to shoulders today. Um, change around my workout just a little bit. Focusing a little bit more on the side and the rear delts. Uh, going to slow down my movements just a little bit. Get a really good um, eccentric, not eccentric. Eccentric is on the way down. Eccentric is on the way up. But again, this is a learning process for me. You know, I'm learning new things every day. So, uh, you know, if, you, if you're not learning, you're not trying. Um, but yeah, so I really want to focus on my, uh, going to keep the intensity up. Even though I'm going with lower weights, I'm going to go with higher repetitions, more reps. I don't even know if that's a, that's probably a better shot. Uh, I have serious ruts in my driveway. Uh, two days ago, it was ridiculously soupy, muddy, gross. And then, obviously, it being 10 degrees, everything froze. So now it's just ruts on bouncing all over the place. Not great. Uh, probably have to get some new gravel down next year. Or this year, not next year. So, anyway, back to the gym. I digress. Um, weighed in at 244 today. And I, I'm not going to lie, I was, I was being discouraged for a while about not being able to put on the weight. I was struggling with the eating. I had a lot of issues. Um, but I did a little bit of research. I was watching some videos. I was uh, trying to find out, you know, because I, I, I preach that you can't change in a day. You know, you didn't put weight on in a day. You can't take it off on a day. Same way, I'm not going to go up to miraculously to bulk up to my 260 in one day. But uh, one to two pounds per week. So I started out around 230. I'm at 244 right now. So that's, I guess that's about on average. I think I'm on day 28 right now. So 30 days, four, five weeks, 14 pounds. I'm not too far off. So, I mean, I've actually been doing it a little bit longer than that since before I actually started posting. Uh, so I think I'm just about where I need to be. So that, uh, that was a little bit of a motivator for me. Um, just keep pushing yourself. Keep moving forward. Uh, keep wanting it more than anybody else. You know, like I said, I come in here, I see the same people in the gym every day, and it's great. And you have the ones that come in on a random, and it's okay. You know, but as long as you're making the effort to come in one day a week, two days a week, seven days a week, however long, just put in the effort, get out there, I'll reach your goals. All right, I'll see you in there. All right, so I don't know if that first one took because, again, technology king over here. Uh, I forgot to turn on the mic, so I don't know if that's just going to be blank sound or not. So I want to reiterate a little bit about what I said. So I'm doing front shoulder presses. Come up in front. This does actually work the anterior uh, shoulder muscle. It's the only exercise I want to do that works the anterior. I have two that work the posterior, one that works the medial delts um, to complete that fullness, that roundness of the shoulders. Uh, but I feel it's necessary to at least do one of these, even though I get enough in my bench press, my incline press, my dumbbell press, all that stuff. There's plenty of things that work the shoulders, push-ups that I do. But I want to make sure that uh, I'm just keeping everything rounded because of my shoulder injuries. I want to make sure I'm hitting all aspects of the muscles. And I am doing a little bit slower. I want to focus more on the uh, eccentric, the, the return of the weight. Um, a little bit slower, two to three second return before I explode back up. Uh, instead of like going super high weight, 
uh, just to allow the muscles or the tendons that I've been struggling with to hopefully start repairing themselves, as well as building muscle around those to support and stabilize all that. So, <clears throat> you might have just heard me say that twice. I don't know if the last one took or not, but if it did, I apologize. I apologize, yes, because I know how to speak English. Um, I apologize, but, uh, you know, who doesn't love to hear my monotone voice talking about shit? So that controlling it down really gets a good squeeze on the muscle. So I do enjoy those. But they are a little bit of a bitch. Alright, so we're going into the third working set. Whether or not you get to see the first one. <laughs> um, it's great burn, but again, it doesn't uh, it doesn't really like impinge on my shoulders as much as like a standing military press or an overhead press does. Uh, which is one of the reasons that I really like this. Um, you still get a great burn. You still get a good, uh, good squeeze to the, the anterior, the anterior deltoid, without you know the pain that comes along with the with the traditional standing military press. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's going to be a good day. I'm already enjoying this. All right, so last week at this point for my first working set, I went up to 60. But when I was controlling the eccentric, and this is just to, to, to show you, like I was cranking out 60s, no problems. Um, but I did 30 pounds with the eccentric just as warm up. My shoulders, my rear delts are already on fire. So... I'm dropping down a little bit to 50 to try to get 12 solid, decent form reps with controlling that eccentric to really just tax the shit out of those rear delts. Definitely recommend you try that. A little bit higher weight with that, but with controlling that, I am definitely feeling that's probably the best squeeze, best burn I felt on my rear delts, you know, in the last two months. So this is definitely something I'm going to play around with a little bit more. It's controlling that eccentric, see if it works with other part of my aspects. I really enjoyed that. So let's uh, take a quick pause, and we'll go up. All right, so like I said, going up a little bit more in the weight, and uh, I'm gonna keep doing that. Focus on the eccentric. Still gonna hit twelve no matter what. Yes. Um, 
Be mindful, though, on that last one, that very last one. That you're still controlling, not just let the weight goes back. I kind of lost on there. I was taxed. But we're going to keep going see what happens. All right, so, again, still increasing the weight. It's going to be a rough day. A good day, but a rough day. You. It's only the second exercise I'm in. I'm fucking toast. So I can't wait to see what the next two exercises bring. Scratch a little. Uh, uh, journey of a thousand miles starts with a single step. So as long as you're doing something, it's all that matters. One step, One step is better than none. Oh, sorry, got sidetracked. Talking about surgeries and pain and all that stuff and. Uh, one of the regulars in here, she uh, just got engaged down in Peru, and I've been messing with her and her boyfriend about eating guinea pig down there, and I guess she actually ate some guinea pig down there, so I want to find out how that was. Oh yeah, those are going to suck. Round one, two more to go. Oh, shit. Yeah. Those are uh, eccentric movements. Are, uh, really fucking with me. In a good way. In a good way. All right, so, final round. Final set. I should say, not final round. <clears throat> Oh. Yeah. On a lot of raises. All right, so I dropped back quite a bit on the side lateral raises because uh, they suck. And literally the last warm up set I had could have probably have been my first working set, but. <sighs> Yeah, I don't know if I'm going up and what I'm just going to maintain that weight and keep cranking them out. All right, second working set. My shoulders fucking killing me. Not like a bad way. They don't hurt. They're just sore as I'll get out. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> 
You know you're doing it right. On that last set, you can barely fucking hold it for the eccentric descent. So this is the last set. One, two, three, four. You. God, that felt great. We're going to hit up some cardio real quick. And then we're going to call it a day. So I've missed a few of these sets, but my normal workout, or my normal rope workout, uh, alternating waves, alternating side waves, regular waves, regular side to side waves. So I thought I was done with the workout, but uh, Doing two push ups again. I'm going to go elevated 12 inch elevation on the box. And again, this is at the end of my workout. Um, make sure you're supportive. Lend a hand, be a friend, be there for, the, be there for others. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Again, uh, doing 22 push-ups every day in recognition of, uh, uh, in support of servicemen and women, 22 commit suicide every day. Please do your part. Thank you. All right, that's a wrap for that day. Um, not an easy day. I like this weird noise in my truck. Anyway, um, shorter workout than what I usually have. I think I was in there for about an hour, 20 minutes. I mean, actually during the workout, not the setup, not the breakdown, just about an hour and 20 minutes. That's about half hour, 45 minutes less than what I usually do. Um, and uh, <laughs> it was great. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying just because I had a shorter workout, it was great. I got everything done. But I didn't have a lot of distractions, so I was able to keep moving for one. You know, for two... Um, I maximized the intensity of the few workouts that I did. So I only had three working sets. So I did about 12 working sets, which probably needs to increase to about 15 to 18 working sets. So, you know, I'll play around with that in the next. But the, you know, the eight-centric holder, you know, what people call negatives, um, really put a hurting on my shoulders, like a good hurting. Like I can feel the burn. I can feel the, the, the squeeze. You know, the, the juice was definitely worth the squeeze today. The squeeze was worth the juice. The juice was worth the squeeze. However the fuck the saying, the, the juice and the squeeze right there. So, um, really enjoyed that day. I surprisingly 
no pain in the shoulder. So I was happy about that. Um, still waiting on that call. See what I can do for an MRI. See how soon we can get that in and get it looked at. But I'm going to keep moving forward. And, you know, as I was talking to somebody, they're like, well, shit, you know, I was like, there's one of two things. My shoulders, I either got a torn rotator cuff or I don't. So, what's the point of stopping right now? If it's not torn, why should I lose progress? If it is torn, I'm going to have to have the surgery anyway, so why not just carry through until I have to have the surgery and keep moving? Um, I'm not recommending this for everybody. This is my mentality of why I'm doing and how I'm doing this. I've been through two shoulder surgeries before. I know what to expect. I know what I'm looking forward to. But, you know, it's not a serious injury. It's not I can still move my arm. My arm still functions. If I'm lucky, maybe it's just micro tear, something that affect, quick rehab, and we're good to go. But uh, but just keep moving forward. Keep grinding. Keep pushing yourself. Keep uh, 1% better every day. And that's what I'm striving for. Uh, one of the ladies that comes out and works out every morning, almost every morning, she's an older lady, just had a hip replacement. I saw her today without her cane. So she's getting better. She's in the gym every day, you know, doing her exercise, getting her getting her physical therapy and getting her, you know, conditioning in. So it's really cool to see, you know, when you see somebody that's that's been down for so long and finally they're getting back up and moving and, you know, getting back to where they used to be and uh, go from there. So um, <coughs> my week is concluded. That's it for this week. I'm off Saturday and Sunday. Uh, I'm going to take a rest. Uh, got a lot going on at the restaurant. Busy, busy weekend. So even though I'm not going to be at the gym, I am going to be definitely getting a workout in. Just running my ass off uh, next week. Really isn't any better. So uh, you guys enjoy yourselves this weekend. Have fun. Stay safe. And I will see you next week.